Hi ladies, let's talk packing list. All right, if you're a solo female and you're heading out on the Camino, or even if you're walking with somebody else, but you're carrying your own gear, this is exactly what I would take while carrying my trusty backpack. Let's talk about it and let's pack it. And in the end, we'll weigh it and see how I did. All right, I would begin by putting the heaviest stuff at the bottom. The heaviest stuff for me is my toiletry kit. I have this nice Sea to Summit bag. It's kind of big and some people don't like it that big, but it puts everything in one place for me. Inside of it, it has three compartments. At the top here, I have toothbrush, floss, I have eye drops because I need them, and I have allergy nose spray. Those are the things I have in the top. In the middle, I have a little tiny uh, mirror that I use you know, to pluck those unmentionables. I have some hair ties. I have a couple of shout wipes, and I keep a couple in my fanny pack, so just in case I spill something, which I'm known to do. And then I have some Arnica. Arnica is really good for um, muscle pain, bruising, muscle stiffness, swelling. You just put a couple under your tongue, and I, I have a couple of those in here, and then I keep one in my fanny pack. So that's what's in the middle. At the bottom here, I have, I do use an electric toothbrush, so this is a luxury item. A regular toothbrush would save you some weight. I have some more of that Arnica, but I have it in a cream. This is arthritis cream. If any of you struggle with knee pain, this is the stuff to get. I also have some chafing balm, just in case. I have, this is a little bit big, and you don't need that big, um, but it's my shave cream. Use a smaller one, be better off. I have some face lotion. I have a snack baggie full of some Q-tips. And I have some shampoo and some conditioner. That's what I have in this pack. So let's zip it up. Fortunately, what I'm keeping it in doesn't weigh much at all. But I keep that at the very bottom because it's not something I'll need during the day. Behind my toiletry kit at the back is where I would keep my Chacos. I like those because they'll, um, this flat part is what'll be on my back, on the backpack. So that's what I put in the back. The next thing I'm gonna set in here is my bladder. So I use a bladder because it is the easiest way to get access to water. Uh, once it's sticking out, the water bladder just comes around my shoulder and I can have easy access to water. So I'm weighing this backpack, this backpack without water. I would put this in the pouch that is in the back of my pack. So this is gonna add a little bit of weight once I put water in here, but I wanna put it in as soon as possible, just like I would if I were, um, if I were on Camino, I wanna put it in early because you wanna make sure you have room for it. This bladder is three liters. I never put three liters of water in there unless I know it's gonna be a really long day. Um, honestly, and I think, I, I think I only use about two liters. Okay, so next up, I would put my sleeping liner. I would put that down at the bottom on the side because it's nice and bulky. And then from there, I'm gonna put my towel. Now I don't use a big towel. This is, whew, this is a pack towel is the brand and we'll link everything below. It wouldn't cover my body. So I definitely am not gonna use this to cover up but it dries me well enough and it doesn't take up that much room in my backpack and it dries super easy. So I have this size for my towel. And again, it's not something I need very often. So I'm gonna put that towards the bottom. I use the smaller size on the outside of my pack for wiping the sweat off of my face. So that will stay on the outside of the pack. Next, Let's see, I'm gonna put in, I have a little baggie that has two protein bars and it has some liquid IV. This is for rehydrating. I'm gonna put those in the brain of my pack. Do you need to take food on the Camino? No, I carry two protein bars with me just in case of an emergency and every single Camino I've needed them, I've had an emergency. I also take a little um, container of salt sticks. These are electrolyte fast chews. I get heat exhaustion pretty quickly, and so this is for me an important remedy, and I leave those in the brain of the pack so I have easy access to them. Uh, let's see, down at the bottom, I'm gonna also put, this is my clothesline. This is just a piece of paracord and then um, safety pins. 
You can hang them from any side of the room to the other side or door to door. The hinges of doors work really well. Uh, so if there isn't a line for pilgrims um, or if it's full, I have this extra. I'm gonna keep this down at the bottom of my pack as well. And I forgot to put my electric toothbrush back in there, so I'm just gonna shove it in there. All right, next, at the bottom of my pack, I'm gonna have, these are replacement hiking pole tips. In just a little bit, I'm gonna talk about how I get my hiking poles overseas. These are extra hiking pole tips. You can pick them up in bigger cities. I have them, so I'm gonna take them, shove those towards the bottom as well. The other thing I'm gonna keep handy towards the top, this is KT tape. I struggle with arthritis in my knees, and we've all had like a shin splint felt like we have a shin splint coming on. KT tape is fabulous. And I'm gonna put that towards the top of my pack because I wanna have access to it during the day if my knees start bothering me or if I feel like I have a shin splint coming on. All right. Um, da, let's see, I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this up here at the top as well. This is a, um, a European cord. I've got I've got availability of lots of different types of plugs. So I'm gonna put that in the brain in case I decide I wanna charge my phone during the day. Here's my phone cord. That brain's getting pretty heavy. All right, moving on. In my clothes bag, I have one bag that all my clothes fit in. First of all, outfit number one, I wear a skort, has pockets, has pockets in the back that zip, pockets in the front. And um, I'm going to put at the bottom, I have two pairs of socks. These are smart wool socks, the thinner ones. I also wear these little toe sock liners. What I love about these is they're as thin as pantyhose, but they have the plastic on the back. And I carry a couple of pairs of these so that I can change them out on Camino as they get, uh, get bad. I went through three pairs on my last Camino Francis. I'm wearing a regular bra right now and I take a front zip a sports bra because when you're hot and sweaty, nobody wants to try to put anything up over their head. At least I don't. Two pairs of underwear. Uh, that means I'd have a total of three pairs of underwear. Third one's a luxury item, but I like it. I have a really thin belt. This belt is super easy. It doesn't weigh much at all and I can roll it up really small. And that's what I have for uh, two of the outfits that I'm bringing. Uh, as I said, I wear one skort. The next is a pair of zip-off pants. Because the weather is gonna change quite a bit, I wanna make sure I have pants with me, especially for the first couple of weeks. And then I am taking, I have a luxury, another luxury item, I'm taking an extra skort. Could you do this with just wash and wear? Yes, and I have. And I think that that is very smart, but because the weather conditions are changing, I wanna have that pair of pants. I'm only taking two t-shirts, they're both tech shirts. This one is Under Armour. This is Tech Gear, it's from Kohl's. What I like about this shirt is it's mesh right here in the back, but it's not a V-neck. I couldn't get a V-neck, I, like, I prefer the V-neck. So I have one of each. So I've got two shirts and that's it, wash and wear. And then I have a thin uh, zip-up jacket. This has a hood on it, so if I wanna wear the hood, I could. Um, but mornings, a lot of times in the mornings, you'll see me with my jacket on. So that is all that's going in my clothes bag. One thing that I have, per have taken in the past is earplugs and eye mask. I've taken them on probably three or four Caminos and I've never used them. So they're not going with me this time. All right, in the bag we go, zip that up. This is not heavy but it stays in the middle of the pack. And boy, this thing's getting heavy. If you're worried about weight, don't take those luxury items. All right, a couple other things I keep handy. I carry these little baggies. This is what I take my pills in. So um, I've got some vitamins and some pills. I also uh, take muscle relaxers. My baggies of pills would be in, in here. These little baggies are great and I would have those I'd have the two that I need handy in the front pocket, but I'd have the rest in my bag. I have a couple of tabs to clean my bladder. I usually clean it about a third of the way through the Camino and two thirds the way through the Camino. So I'm just gonna throw that in the front pocket as well so it doesn't get lost. 
Couple other things. On the back of my cell phone, the case that I'm gonna use sits the little stand, and then I have a little keyboard. This is great for uh, those of you who wanna take, you know, just take good notes of what's going on. You want an electronic journal. This is lightweight, but it's a nice thing to have so that you can write notes electronically. Some people bring a notebook. So I'm gonna put that, so just like my, well, my cell phone wouldn't be here, so I'm not gonna put my cell phone here, but I'm gonna put my keyboard right here. So if I wanna write during the day, I can. This is an extra battery. This is another luxury item. I'm not gonna take it, but a lot of people do take an extra battery. If you're on the Camino Francis, there are gonna be lots of places to charge your phone. Other routes, you may need this, but I'm not gonna take that this time. This is a basic uh, first aid kit. Not a lot in here, but it's got some Advil in here, some Tums, a couple of Band-Aids, some tape, uh, just a few items. The great part about Spain is you're gonna find everything you need on the Camino. So you really don't even need to take this much, but it is what I already have ready to go. And of course, that's something you want at the top in case you need it during the day. This is a um, water jug that I like taking because it's wide mouth, it's very lightweight, but what I like about it is I can throw grapes or cherries or you know, maybe a small apple or nectarine. I can throw that in here so it doesn't get bruised or damaged during the day. And then those packets that I bought of Celsius, I can use, or those electrolytes, I can use to make some water as well. So that's gonna go here in my side pocket. My other side pocket I leave empty because I want it to have, um, I want it to store my poles if I'm not using them. Let's get this down in here. All right, last things. Very top of my pack on the outside, what's already in here is a pack cover that came with my backpack. So if it starts to rain, my backpack is covered. And then this is my raincoat. So I want those as handy as possible. I don't carry a poncho, ponchos get in the way, ponchos don't work as well when you're um, on a rest day and it's raining and you just need a rain jacket. Rain jackets to me are the most versatile and they work the best for me. And whatever clothing I have on my legs, it's just gonna get wet. Fortunately, it's all quick dry. Last thing I'm gonna have the very top of my backpack is a little fold up backpack. Um, this is for going to get groceries, uh, this is, you know, it's just one of those string bags. If you want to go get groceries, you want to do your laundry, you need to put it in something, that's what I want right here at the top so that I can have access to it. Maybe at the end of the day, like before I go check into my albergue, I want to grab some groceries, I want to have easy access to that. Last but not least, my um, Camino del Norte, which is the Camino we're getting ready to go on. My Camino del Norte bag uh, or book I'm going to put in here. A lot of people do an ebook. More power to you. Guess I'm called old school. Outside here, I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna, right out here, I'm going to unsnap my snap, uh, my pack towel, and I'm gonna snap it in right here. And that is my backpack. Now, as I close it up, let me tell you what I got in my fanny pack, because my fanny pack is very important. And we'll get this thing weighed. Are you nervous? I'm nervous about how much it weighs. In my fanny pack, I have a hidden pocket in the back and I think that's super important. In the back pocket, I have my passport and my credential, so I have easy access to this. In the front, I have my prescription sunglasses. I have a bag of tissues. I told you I had a couple of those shout wipes. I also have some always wipes. I have some earbuds. And then I have these little ties. What I like about these, they came on my smart wool socks, but what I like about these is they can very easily make a short sleeve shirt, a sleeveless shirt, just by tying them up. And they were free. So I keep those with me because I do like to make my shirt a sleeveless shirt. No girl wants to come home with their farmer's tan. And then in the very front, I have some Blistex. Uh, this is medicated lip balm and it's SPF 15. More of those Arnica, because I take those during the day. And that is all I keep in my fanny pack, plus my phone. So, there we go, fanny pack. Of course, these are the hiking shoes I'm gonna wear. I didn't mention it, but hopefully you knew. Uh, these are New Balance. 
Um, I've worn these for uh, two Caminos. I love them, wouldn't trade them for the world. Hanging from my shell to tell everyone on Camino that I'm a pilgrim uh, is my pilgrim shell. Okay, everybody, we're gonna weigh this. It's time to tell you. Now remember, this is everything except my water. And it is 7.6 kilograms, which is 16 and a half pounds. Not too bad. Honestly, I feel pretty good about this. With white water, we're probably up to about 18 or 19 pounds. But it fits perfectly on my body. It's situated right here on my hips. Tighten that in. Use my load lifters to tighten it up against my body. Still a nice little gap there in my back. And then buckle it in and I'm ready to go. Now, let me tell you about these hiking poles. There's a couple of ways you can get these hiking poles over to Europe. That is, well, one, you can just get them in St. Jean-Pied-de-Port or wherever you're starting. A major city is gonna have hiking poles. But if you love your hiking poles and you can't live without them, then what you do is you get like an architecture tube. You can put them in that tube. You could also tape them up really well. You can make your own cardboard box. Anything that you think you can throw away once you're there, don't spend much money about it on it. You're getting Amazon packages, I'm sure, regularly. Pack it in an Amazon package. Now, that does mean you're gonna have to pay for it. So you have to decide if your poles are worth paying for. And then when you're over there, do the same thing to pack them back up to bring them home or leave them for the next pilgrim. There you have it. Here's what I would take on Camino. Now, if you've been watching our videos for a while, you know that I am not a solo uh, traveler. I travel with my husband, Brian. So in our next video, he's gonna show you exactly what he would take on Camino if he were going by himself. And then we're gonna have a third video that shows you how to use a luggage service. Because we've done this, we've each taken our own backpack, and we've used luggage service before. So we wanna to talk to you about all the different options that are available to pilgrims. Have a wonderful Camino, Buen Camino, and all trea.